Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Sports gambling, it's big money. $2 billion in the first year. That's a conservative estimate. So state rep Pat Garofalo is introducing a bill to get those billions wagered legally in Minnesota as soon as possible. Sports gambling, as has been cited by the U.S. Supreme Court, is immensely popular, and it's taking place already. So uh, what we're doing is we're just regulating existing behavior that's been going on for decades. But with taxes and who and where sports betting can be allowed, it's complicated. But I can't emphasize this enough. We got to have stakeholder consensus. This is not a partisan issue. Consensus with the Minnesota Indian Gaming Association, which has long opposed the expansion of gambling. Personally, I probably wouldn't support it. And back in March, Senate Minority Leader Thomas Bach told us it'll have an uphill battle in the Senate. The more impulsive you make gambling, make it more available on your phone, uh, for example, I think causes more people to get into financial problems. While Minnesota mulls it over, the AP released this graph, estimating 32 states will likely offer sports betting within five years, according to a research firm. Minnesota's not listed, but that's not slowing Garofalo's excitement. Minnesota has intrinsic benefits being leaders in technology for a lot of this stuff. So a lot of the, the backhaul operations, the stuff behind the scenes can be important for Minnesota as well. Now, the law was originally put in place back in 1992 to keep integrity in sports. Now, today, all four major leagues, the NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, NHL, plus the NCAA, released statements and all said essentially that they'll review and carefully move forward. But oddly, I shouldn't say oddly, the NBA uh, was more welcoming and more optimistic about this than the other leagues. All right. That'll be an interesting one to follow. Thank you, Corey.